Alright guys, so I want to talk about some uh, grip breaks that we can do that are pretty sound fundamentally and pretty simple. Uh, so people always have options from different grips. So the first one we'll look at is our partner uh, gets their power hand on. And there's a couple of nice ones from here. Uh, in judo, we can't do a double grip break. But for jiu-jitsu and other submission grappling, one of the strongest ones here is to get a double kind of C grip right underneath the wrist. I'm going to push up as I step back. Here, as I, I don't let go of this, I bring it down, I feed it into my sleeve hand, push the hand to the hips, and then I get my power hand up. For IJF competition, where it's just one-handed, we get here, and we take a step back, and we drive this down. Okay, sometimes is again, one-handed, come in, I'm gonna lift the hand, and I'm gonna rotate it inward. Okay, and it causes the fingers, okay, causes the fingers to come off. And then again, I grip feed, and I get my power hand on. Okay, for uh, sleeve hand, so let's, uh, we'll take, we'll take a, a left-handed, Okay, so for any type of sleeve grip here, let's start actually behind the elbow. Okay, one of these really strong ones is to bring my arm up, okay, weakening this, and then back. Okay, this uses my whole upper body to rip that up. Okay, so if we're here, okay, I'm not nearly as strong because I can't use as much rotation. I have to basically use my triceps and my lats to get this, this momentum. If I come up, all right, now I can turn away, I can use my whole body. So that's a really nice one. Another one from a person that's more of an end of the sleeve grip, there's two nice ones here. One, not judo legal, but legal for jiu-jitsu, no submission grappling. Bring the knee up, and we're gonna use that to clear it. Okay, it's a nasty grip breaker. It's very effective. Okay, so I'm gonna come up, break that off. Another one from here, I'm gonna make that C grip again. It's gonna to go to the wrist, and I'm gonna get tension, okay? From here, I'm gonna keep clamping down, and I'm gonna ratchet up this wrist, okay? Taking up more space every time. So I'll start really loose here, and I'll ratchet, I'll ratchet, eventually it forces his grip off, okay? And then from here, I like to just take that wrist grip, because I can okay? If somebody takes a double lapel grip, okay? Usually it's not worth trying to break these because there's a number of throws that we can do from here. One really nice one is to weave this hand through for a scene and trap the arm. All right, if he is smart about it, he'll release this grip so it is a grip break. If he really wants to hold on to it, it'll get stuck in here and get, get trapped. Okay, another one from here is to take the gi material with our power hand here, and we're gonna step through and break, or just let the grip stay here, right into a soy sweep when we go. Okay, so there's just a couple, there's a lot more, but these ones are pretty effective and pretty technically sound, so I hope that works for everyone.